It seems like deja vu, but we are back at SEMA 2022 this year. I'm once again uh, reunited with long lost buddy Kent from last year. Uh, he's actually from Meridine Fans. This is not a new company. Uh, let's go ahead and give everybody a refresher of what you guys are all about. Thanks, Ernesto. Sure. Uh, Meridine High Performance Fans has been in business for about 20 years. And we started off just making cooling fans for the high performance market, for the guys that doing it themselves at home. And it's grown into multiple different fans. We now make dual fans. We make anything from a six and a half inch fan all the way up to a 16 inch. The size of the motor is going anywhere from a 90 watt motor all the way up to 225 watt motor. But you guys have a brand new website with a couple of new goodies. Can you tell me about the new stuff that we're going? Yeah, it's we're really excited. I mean, first off, kicked off our new website this week. Love to have everybody go Meridine hp.com check us out check out the new look new information on there we've got a new product as well i see that you have two almost identical looking fans can you tell us more about this new fan yeah i'm going to actually talk about both of them because there's some comparing that needs to be made the top one our m162k is our 16 inch 225 watt motor fan it's the best selling fan we have in in our meridine division We've taken that fan and I guess taken it up a notch with the new fan. It has virtually the same motor in it, but it also has a control factor built into it that keeps the motor from just having a great, a big inrush of, of amperage when it first starts. And we'll, we'll give you a demonstration here in a second. I'm assuming that it would also help maybe something with like a smaller capacity battery that can't necessarily take on a lot of amperage at the same time, like maybe a lot of sport compacts and imports that have uh, trouble fitting larger batteries. Would that help? Oh, in today's market, the use of the battery is becoming more and more important. There's more electronics on a car than there's ever been. So anything you can do to keep from using that battery is going to benefit the whole car. So you mentioned something about a demonstration. Head and show me something like that? Yeah, I can. I can show you, again, we'll do a comparison between our original best-selling fan and the new one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and help you out here because you don't seem to have four hands. I guess we're gonna go ahead and see what a standard traditional fan looks like. All we're gonna do is I'm just gonna hold the paper up in front of it, about a foot out in front of it. I'll let you turn it on and you can see how quickly that paper blows out. No surprise there, the fan actually does exactly what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Now, the, the problem as far as doing this on video, you can't see that inrush of amperage. And in the first half second, it's already hit 70 amps and dropped back down to 15 amps. All you see is the fan just going full speed. On this one, you will see a difference. Okay, starting now. So that was a significant improvement in a sense that I saw that the paper started to lift up but it didn't quite snatch it out of your hand like the other one wanted to. Exactly. It's just made to have that slow, smooth start. Another benefit to that is the fan starts up much quieter. So you won't have like the typical problem when the fan hits, the delights will dim or your gauges will slow down. Or you blow a fuse. Or you blow a fuse and in the middle of a show you probably don't want to do that. You don't want to do it in the middle of the show and you don't want to do it in the middle of the highway either. So. Ernesto, I sure appreciate you coming by. It's always good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.